Hi everyone, it's Ani with Chica's Kitchen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead, I keep saying that. I'm going to <laughs> bring you along as I make uh, Spanish style soup. It's really cold out, a little bit of snow left on the ground, and I've got some chicken here that is just begging to be cooked. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to show you how I make my soup. I do have this recipe, I believe, on the Facebook Chica's Kitchen page, but I don't have it on the YouTube channel yet. And as I've stated before, some of the videos I could not transition over, so I couldn't export it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to. <laughs> I've got to stop saying that. I'm going to film the process of cooking that soup uh, again. So that's what I'm getting ready to do next. But first I've got to soak my chicken and wash it. And then I'll show you how I cut it into pieces uh, because you have to do that. But anyway, just come along with me and let's get it going in here. Let's get creative. Okay, everyone. First thing I want to do is I got my chicken. I washed up my chicken. I got to soak it in some water. It's frozen. I mean, still, but that's okay. It'll be easier to chop into pieces, and it's going to boil anyway to cook. So we're going to go ahead and fill our pot that we're going to cook this in with some water. Go ahead and fill that up, and then uh, about two-thirds of the way, and we're gonna go ahead and put that to boil. And, cause we're gonna, uh, we are going to sear the chicken after we chop it up and rinse it out, season it with some adobo. We're gonna, go, we're going to sear it before putting it in the pot to boil, into that boiling water. And while it should be boiling by the time we do all that. All right, so, the pot is about two thirds full of water. So I'm gonna put it here on the stove and get it to start boiling. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, not much, like maybe a half a tablespoon because it's going to have a lot of seasoning put in, you know, uh, some some of this Maggie um, caldo, sabor de pollo, and adobo. Like I said, I am gonna get. I am going to <laughs> drop a couple of bay leaves in there, and then I'm gonna give. I'm going to give you the ingredients of what all I put in my soup, um, what the Spanish people put in their soup. However, mind you, this is the way I do it, and there are different types of um, ingredients that people put in. Some people like to add carrots and uh, potatoes. Some like it with pasta. Some like it... Uh, without, I like to use the small pasta shells. They're real tiny. Give you an example. See these little bitty shells? That's what I like to use uh, in this soup. Some people like or cook with just the very thin noodles like the what Lipton soup has. Um, they call fideos in Spanish. Um, you can do that. Um, or you can just add a packet of Lipton noodle soup. And that will take care of the seeds, the, the chicken bouillon, because it comes with that powder in it. And it would take care of your pasta. Now, we're only going to use about three quarters of a cup of this. You don't want a whole lot. Uh, some people like to put rice. That would be about half a cup of rice in the soup. You know, it just, whatever you like, get creative. But I am going to show you the basics on how to make this Spanish soup. So, first things first, we're going to, we're going to chop up 
Let me get that out the way. Our chicken. As the water's boiling. Let's do that. And then I'll show you the ingredients. I'll come back and I'll have all the ingredients lined up. Okay. And you'll be able to write that down. So as many pieces of chicken as you want. Usually about uh, five to six chicken legs. Or you can mix about six pieces of chicken. Will do because you've got to cut it into pieces. Nobody wants a big floating piece of chicken in their soup. Okay, so it def definitely needs to be uh, cut. So I got a thigh right now. I got leg quarters. So I've got the thigh right now. You see. Okay. Now remember, this chicken is frozen. You can do it with the frozen chicken or not frozen chicken, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's all going to boil. Okay, and then you want bite sizes like this. And yes, you're going to use it bone and all. Bone and all. And then you just slice that in, that in four pieces. And the reason why we brown this is because uh, the soup is so colorful. Now, I like to get rid of that part right here, the... Uh, joint part I don't like using it so what I do is I give it two boots to the dog she loves it all right so anyway the soup is so colorful nobody wants a pale looking piece of meat flow to the top well we don't anyway all right, so that's how we do that. Those hands, that's how we do the legs. So I'm gonna, I'm going to chop all this up, and I'll bring you back once it's done, and I'll take you through to the next step. Okay, so we got all our pieces cut up, and uh, we're gonna, we're going to wash them, rinse them out real well, and then season them. So I'm gonna do that. I will sanitize my hands. I mean, I washed them and sanitized my hands to use hand sanitizer before and I will after. Don't want cross contamination on anything else because I will be cutting up vegetables and stuff. All right, so that's rinsed out. So before I do anything else, let me sanitize my hands. Because I've got to touch the seasonings. I gotta get more gloves. Alright, so we sprinkle some adobo on there. Just enough to season everything because the soup is gonna have its own seasoning too. Now, clean hands, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to blend all that up. And all it takes is just adobo or whatever seasoning you want to use. That's all it needs. Okay. And so... Once you do that, once you mix that in there real well, rinse your hand one more time, sanitize, sanitize, and sanitize. <laughs> All right. 
Once you do all that, put that on in. All right. Now we are going to fry up this chicken. So I'm going to turn you around. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We're going to first turn the heat on. You want it to about an eight. You're trying to sear. You're going to put in some achote oil. Enough to cover the bottom of the pan. About a cookie spoonful. And there's a video on how to, how to make that. Already posted. We're going to wait till this gets hot. Okay, cool. Definitely gonna need my screen, my splatter screen. The water's already almost boiling on here. I do have two bay leaves floating around in there. And the water and about half a tablespoon of salt. So let this get warm a little bit. I'm gonna set up over here all the ingredients that I am going to use while that gets hot. Okay. Okay, let's get this chicken in here. Then I'll finish getting the rest in there. The rest of the vegetables. to do the skin side first usually. You see how nice and red that's turning? That's that's what you want. You don't want no pale looking chicken floating around in your bowl of soup. I mean the soup's going to be so pretty in colors and colors and to have a pale piece of chicken looking at you, it's not very appetizing. My hopster absolutely loves this soup. Everybody, everyone loves this soup. I actually, when my girlfriend was just out of surgery, I went ahead and made a big pot for her and her, her kids, her grandkids. Took that over to her. She enjoyed it. Her family enjoyed it. I'm glad. That's what it's all about. Bringing smiles. Alright, so. That's all the chicken right there. I'm going to lower this to a four the boiling water. And 
Let me get the rest of the vegetables. I'm trying to get the uh, ingredients over here. About two thirds cup, yep. That's about right. Okay, that's done, and there's something else. What am I missing? Okay, let me show you what I got over here. This is what you're going to need to add. Optional, of course, are uh, the potatoes. Not really, but... <laughs> I'm going to chop up two of these into pieces. I'll show you how I do that. Uh, half a can of this diced tomato, so maybe uh, one that is like eight ounces may, uh, uh, would be good. A smaller can of diced tomatoes. All I had was this one. Well, I have the uh, the ones with the green chili, but I don't want anything hot in this. Um, you're going to need some green peppers, red peppers, and onions sliced and diced. Uh, optional. I do put olives. It is Spanish. It is Puerto Rican style. Of course, sofrito. We're going to use about a cooking spoon of that, maybe half. And then all of my spices... You know, we have turmeric, oregano, basil, uh, sasong, no salt. We've already added that. Uh, black pepper and, uh, uh, I said oregano, turmeric. So, you're going to need a small can of, what is this, eight ounces of tomato sauce. And I'm going to put in two-thirds cup of small shells, as I've stated before. And then, of course the potatoes so these are the ingredients okay two potatoes we're going to dice them into little cubes or big chunks but however you like to eat them and they're going to go in the water now i'm going to do this first i'm going to do the you're going to need a can of tomato sauce eight ounce can two thirds of noodles whatever kind you want or rice if it's rice just do half a cup because rice grows a lot. Um, some manzanilla or pimento stuffed olives. You could do the one with the seeds if you want to, but usually in, in soups, you know, we don't want to bite down on that. Uh, half, half a can of this, so that would be about an eight ounce can of diced tomatoes. You're going to need two tablespoons, I'm going to say, of sofrito, peppers, onions and your seasoning that's everything that you're going to need to make 
the soup. And of course, the guest of honor, which would be, let's see, where is it at? The Maggie Caldo Sabor Apoyo Chicken Flavor Bouillon. But this Maggie one has a special flavor. It has an added flavor that the regular bouillons does not have. It's more of a Spanish flavor. It's really delicious. You should try it. So I'm going to finish, put this on high, uh, searing this chicken. It is on high, and then I'm, I'll put it in the water. I'll bring you when I do that. But right now, I'm going to peel the potatoes and cut them up. Another thing I like to add is some carrots. You can add whatever kind of carrots you want. Cut up. You get cauliflower, broccoli, whatever your favorite vegetables are. Peas. I'm just going to do this. A little bit of carrots. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, get ready for these taters. Okay, go ahead and peel them. Now you can cut them smaller than this if you want to, but this is good enough for soup. You know, that's just on you. However you like your taters. Okay, and that should be enough. So we're going to rinse them out. To the water, the water. Okay, just put them right in there. And now we're getting ready to turn our chicken over. This pan, it's an old pan, it's kind of lopsided a little bit, bubbled up. 
But I love this pan. <laughs> So I don't get rid of it. Another good thing about searing is that you get rid of all those little secretions of um, the thickness of the bread and stuff. All that gets burnt out, cooked away from the bones and arteries and stuff. Yeah, you get to sear all that. Alright, let that sear on the other side. And as soon as that sears on the other side, we're going to dump the chicken in there, put the temperature up to six, let that chicken cook real well, while we saute the rest of the ingredients. I'll bring you back. Okay, it's time to put the chicken in the pot. Put that chicken in the pot, on it. And drop it on in there. Lower this heat. You're going to use that same, the same pot with all that sear in it. Juice to saute your which will be two tablespoons. And the tomatoes. It doesn't matter what order you put this in, as long as you put it in there. So it's all got to cook up. Half a can of the eight ounce can, so about four ounces. 
Or if you've got tomato paste, that's fine too. Okay, put the heat back up to four, let that cook. Spices next. a tablespoon of basil. Teaspoon of cumin. A packet, one packet envelope of sasson. Okay. You want some oregano? About half a tablespoon. Some turmeric, about a teaspoon, and if you want some black pepper, you can put some of that in there too. Whatever other spices you like. simmering nicely and then while all that is going on Going to put in a tablespoon of Maggie. Chicken bouillon to you. Okay, this is about done. So, what I'm gonna do is put that to six. Move this on over so you can get a better look. Turn this off. And it's spices that's so taken care of. Now we're going to add see that Let's 
I'm going to add all this goodness in there. in there. Look how pretty that looks already. See that? Oh yeah. So, what are we missing? I'll tell you what we're missing. We're missing the pasta noodles and the corn. Which I'm getting ready to chop up and throw up in there. We go. Alrighty. Oh, let me show you how I do this. Turn it around. Just take it, slice down the middle, and then in quarters. And there you have it. Pieces, throw them in the soup. Very gentle. Throw that in the soup. Next. You don't want to bang this too hard because pieces will go flying everywhere and make sure your corn is thawed out before you start slicing because also pieces will stop chipping everywhere. Speaking from experience. <laughs> okay, there you have it. And you also don't want to ruin the corn too much, you know? You want it to look pretty, like nice pretty pieces. All right, let's go back over here. Turn around. I don't want to make you dizzy now. Let's take a look at this soup. Look at that. Let me see what it looks like with the light off. Ooh. See that? Beautiful. That's going to be so good. And we still have the pasta to put in. Let's see. So, go ahead and add that in there. Just two thirds cup because it will grow. I would say about half a cup if you're going to put rice in. That is just so beautiful. That really is. All those pretty colors. Alright, so. There it is, folks. I'm trying to get it to where you can see a nice color. 
all the green it's not showing I tell you I got such bad lighting Okay, so now I just have to let this cook. And for about ooh, 20 minutes or so, 20, 30 minutes. And once it comes together, it's not a thick, it's, it's not a thick soup. It's not a stew, it's a soup. Okay, usually uh, you can serve this over a bed of white rice, but you've got the pasta in there. And that's enough starch plus the potatoes. So this, sprinkle some um, Parmesan uh, Romano cheese on there or pepperoncini Romano. And uh, on top of that, or if you like some mozzarella, sprinkle some of that. And some fresh uh, toast and, and, you know, bruschetta. And there you have it. You have a meal. I'll bring you back when this is done, and I'll plate it. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's take a look and see. Oh, yeah. See those shells? Mmm. Alright, time to plate this pretty soup. Yep. I'll go ahead and plate it and take a picture. But there you have it, folks. That's called sopa de pollo, chicken soup. And I'll plate it, take a picture, and it'll be at the end of this video. Until the next one, y'all take care of yourselves. God bless.